Hello children. Today we are going to start with the topic adaptations of the lesson living organism and their surroundings children. Okay. What we are going to start that is adaptations. Adaptations. Okay. Fine. Now what does this adaptation mean children? Plants and animals usually have features that help them to survive in a particular type of habitat. In a particular type of habitat. Okay, children, these are known as adaptations. For example, the gills of a fish in an adapt is an adaptation that helps it to survive in water. After this, we are going to discuss about the adaptations of children desert habitat. Adaptations of the desert adaptation of the desert habitat. Okay, so in plant plant life, in desert the temperature is high and there is shortage of water. So some of the adaptations found in desert plants are, and now we are discussing about the adaptations which the desert plants have. Most plants have long roots that penetrate deep inside the soil in search of water. Okay, and children, the stem is also covered with thick waxy layer that helps to retain water. Then high temperature causes great water loss from leaves. To prevent these leaves in cactus are reduced to spines, children. They are reduced to spines. This prevents loss of water by transpiration. This reduces loss of water. Okay. This reduces, this prevents the loss of water by transpiration. Now about the animal life. Animal life children. Many desert animals and insects survive the heat of the day by staying in burrows deep inside the sand during the day. They come out only at night when it is cool. Now some of the adaptations of the camel children. The camel has several adaptations to help it to survive in a desert as you all know children, it has a hump where fat is stored. It can drink a very large quantity of water at a time and then stay without water for a long time. Now we will discuss about the adaptations for water habitat. Adaptations for water habitat children. Water, water habitat. Organisms living in water have to adapt themselves to several factors such as breathing in water, movement of water, pressure of water and less light. So first of all about the plant life. Some adaptations in water plants are as follows. Their roots are much reduced in size, children. Their stems are long and narrow to withstand water currents without getting damaged. Stems have air spa in spaces to enable the plant to float, children. Now, about the animal life. 
some adaptations in fish and some other water animals are as follows they have streamlined bodies their body is covered with scales and mucus to make it waterproof children they have gills for breathing under water they have flat fins and tails that help them to move change direction and keep their body balanced in water they have air bladder that help them to float in water then some sea animals such as dolphins such as dolphins and whales do not have gills to breathe under water they have to come up to the water surface to breathe but they can stay inside the water without breathing for several minutes and you you know children they breathe through blow holes located near the upper part of their head blow holes now adaptations of polar and mountain habitat now we are going to discuss the other another adaptations for polar and mountain habitats for polar and and mountain habitats children okay these habitats are cold the polar regions are covered with snow they are covered with snow there may also be snowfall in mountain regions during the winter then children if for the plant life now for the plant life the trees growing on mountains they are cone shaped children what is their shape they are cone shaped children with sloping branches many of them such as pine have sharp needle like leaves these features help the snow to slide off easily okay now about the animal life now about the about the animal life animals like polar bears living in the very cold polar regions have thick fur on their bodies to protect them from cold what does they have children they have thick fur fine penguins have a layer of oily waterproof feathers oily water proof feathers children they have oily waterproof feathers and a thick layer of fat under the skin that regulates their body temperature and one more interesting habit the penguins have a habit of staying together in groups to keep themselves warm children animals living on mountain habitats also have thick skin or fur to protect themselves from cold these were the adaptations for polar and mountain habitats now there is a term hibernation is a deep sleep that helps animals to save energy and survive the winter without eating much they utilize the food fat stored in their bodies some activities of plants such as loss of water and rate of photosynthesis also get reduced in winter okay children now we are coming to the next one that is adaptations from grassland habitat adaptations for grassland habitat 
grassland habitat okay what is it children grasslands are windy and dry some adaptations in grass to survive in these conditions are flexible stalks so that they bend and do not break in windy conditions strong roots to anchor the grass small leaves to reduce loss of water okay now about the animal life lions live in forest and in grasslands they have the following adaptations they are light brown in color and are not clearly visible to their prey when hiding in dry grasslands the way in which features of an animal's body light its color or shape matches its surrounding so that it is difficult to be seen it is known as camouflage okay children now they have strong claws that can be withdrawn inside their toes this help them to creep up their prey without making a sound while hunting now deer also live in grassland they eat grass and leaves and have to protect themselves from the predators so they have long ears to hear movements of predators they have eyes on the sides of their heads this enables them to look in all directions for danger they can run very fast they have strong legs and can run very fast this helps them to run away from predators now adaptations for tropical rainforest now adaptations for tropical rainforest tropical rain forest okay plant life tropical rainforest have a warm climate with heavy rainfall that occurs almost every day so leaves on trees have grooves and special tips called drip tips what are they known as they are known as drip tips children that allow water to drip easily and not collect on the leaves thus preventing rotting of leaves children okay then about the animal life many species of animal life are found in the rainforest many of them are adapted to living on trees monkeys have strong arms to swing from tree to tree some animals have become very specialized in their eating habits for example parrots eat nuts and strong curved beaks to crack open and tough shells they live in holes in trees camouflage is also useful for predators to catch prey that has not seen them for example tigers with their orange coats with stripes so then children what all we have discussed the main types of the habitat we know it then we discussed about the an adaptation is a feature that helps an organism to survive in a particular type of an environment desert plants and animals have adaptations to reduce loss of water water organisms have adaptations to breathe in water and to withstand water currents and pressure then we discuss that organisms living in very cold conditions have adaptations to keep themselves warm children then children it is about the acclimatization then 
we are going to discuss uh, another topic that is monetization what is it children the small changes that takes place in the body of an organism over a short period children over a short over a short period to overcome some problems arising due to changes in its surrounding that is known as assimilation it is different from adaptation that takes place in an entire population over thousands of years so thank you so much children